Photoshop CS2. When you first open it up, it should be blank. Then you go File, New, and then here's where you want to set it. Now we're going to start with the 400 by 400. Make sure it's pixels. Resolution, set it at about 300 so that you have a decent picture on your site. Make sure that says RGB color and the background is transparent. Click OK. This is your first layer. Now down here, right there, it'll say create a new layer. You always want to work with the second layer. All right, otherwise you're going to, this way if you screw anything up, you can just delete it and then start with the, you'll still have a layer there. So now we're going to go File, Place. And I downloaded a couple of your pictures. So let's work with this cow, this first one. What? Oh, there we go. Okay, so now you're going to place it here. Now you've got a 400 by 400. You're always going to have, when you're working with, like, long ones, it, the image itself, because your canvas is 400 by 400. So that makes this picture 400 by 400. You're going to have some blank space on each side. If you look at Jim's website, you'll see the same thing. That if he's got narrow, long and narrow pictures, it's going to have empty space along the sides. But the the image dimensions themselves will still be the same, so you'll have it. Um, it'll still be centered and everything. And then that's all you have to do, really. And then you just file, save as, and then I would save it whatever you're going to call it. Um, so let's call it the hoodie, and then we're going to give it the 400 by 400. Now, once you have, I usually put it at 5. Once you have it done, then it's just a matter of it'll be even. You can image, image size. Now you can go, as long as you have these, the scale style, constrain the proportions, check. Okay, then all you have to do up here is go 300, and it'll automatically do 300. You can go OK, File, Save As, JPEG. And we're going to do this save as 300 by 300. And then keeping that same one image size 200. And then just do the same thing. All right, so it's always easier to start with the larger one and scale down because if you start with the smaller one and scale up, it might get pixely. So now you're done with this one. Now let's go back to canvas size. And then you have to check here, make sure it's pixels. Let's start with the 400. 400. And then add another layer. File, place. Let's see what other one we have here. Okay, now this one's going in the opposite direction where it's wider. Here, here's one. Not the same one. So let's escape out of that one. Uh, what else do we got here? Here's this one. Now this is 300 by 298. Now you can either leave it just like it is or you can take the corners and enlarge it so it fills up the whole block. But then you might crop sides off of here because that's the whole picture. So I would just leave it right in the center like that and you'll have a little bit of space at the top and the bottom. But that'll be okay. And then you just do the same thing. File, save as and then resize them down from the 400. 
Now, let me see if you have any oddball shaped pictures on your site. And then we can check those out. The computer runs a little bit slow when I have both the screencast software and the Photoshop at the same time running. So, so let's go to here and see if you have any oddball ones. But if you look at Jim's, you'll see what I mean. You know, it'll still space out nice in the table because your table will be centered and your pictures in each thing will be centered. So let's see what else we have. Handbags, you have any handbags? Okay, now you see how this one and this one and this one, you want this to kind of look the same as these. So let's save this as, save image as, I'm just going to call it purse one. Okay, this is a 300 by 199. And this one is just that. Okay, so let's use these two. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, we can delete this layer and add a new one. File, place. Let's see what we got here. Here's the handbag. Now, you see how that does that? Now, here's what you can do with this one is you can enlarge it like that and it's not going to skew it because you're holding down your shift key. You hold down your shift key. Got to tell you about that before. Now it's centered top and bottom. And then save as the 400 and so on. Now let's get rid of this one. Let's delete that. And add a layer file place let's look at what this other one looks like oh that's the one i just did hold on <laughs> file place it's this one now you see how this is up like that you can do one of two things here you can always use the shift hold down your shift key while you're doing it if you forget to hold down your shift key you're going to skew it all up okay like that Let's just escape and we'll put it back on here again. All right, so that's now in there. Now, like I said, you're going to have, it's not going to completely fill up a square when it's a rectangular photo original. But when you save these, these will be, you know, a completely, the dimensions will be a perfect square. So you'll have some space on either side, and the other one will have some space, a little bit of space, top and bottom, and fill out the sides. But because they're perfectly centered inside of a square, it's still going to look the same. Okay, so then you just go through the same thing. File, save as, 400, and then reduce it to 300 and 200, and you should be all set. Okay, that should do it. Hope this helps.